Now you have to be little smart while solving this question and you will be able to solve plenty of time. Okay. Now the first important thing is to find out the radius of this inner hub. Okay. So how to calculate it quickly. Now read from here. In the side view, the area of the hub is uh, one eighth the area of the tire excluding the hub. So area of tire excluding the hub. Let's say if the area is 8A. So the area of this hub will be equal to A. Okay. So I can say that area of hub is A. Area of tire excluding hub is 8A. So area of the complete tire will be equal to 9A. So the ratio of the areas of hub and the entire tire is 1 is to 9. So if this is the ratio of their areas, then the ratio of their radius will be square root of this. That is 1 is to 3. Okay. So the ratio of the radius of uh, the hub and the entire tire is equal to 1 is to 3. So now if you will take the radius as x, so I can say that x upon x plus 8, x upon x plus 8 is equal to 1 upon 3. From here, you can say that the value of x will be equal to 4. Okay. So the radius of this hub portion is equal to 4. Right. Now let's calculate the volume of the tire. So volume of the tire will be area of this portion. Okay. Multiplied by the thickness of the tire. Okay. When it is completely inflated. So area of this portion will be outer circle minus inner circle. Then volume will be multiplied by the thickness that is 6. So area of this shaded portion, I'll write it as pi. Outer radius is 12 square. So pi r square minus pi 4 square. Okay. This is the area. So volume will be pi. 12 square is 144 minus 16 multiplied by the thickness that is 6. Now the time taken will be the complete volume divided by 8 pi cubic centimeter per, per second. Okay. So this is the rate of filling. So this will be pi multiplied by 128 into 6 divided by the rate at which it is filling, which is 8 pi. Now you can simplify. 128 upon 8 is 16 multiplied by 6. That is equal to 96. So the key was to apply uh, that ratio to get the value of the radius of the hub in like I can say less than 15 to 20 seconds. All right. So the correct answer for this question should be option C that is 96 seconds and that was the last question for uh, this mock. So all the very best for the upcoming mocks to all of you as well as uh, for the CAT examination. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.